Underwater cutting of steel, or burning as it is more commonly referred to, is one of the most important skills a commercial diver can possess. Burning is primarily used in the repair and salvage of ships and other structures like offshore oil platforms. The equipment used for burning consists of a welding machine, a knife switch, an oxygen cylinder and regulator, a welding lead and ground clamp, an oxygen supply hose, an underwater burning torch, and burning rods. The welding machine provides the electrical power to make the cut. The diver connects the ground clamp to the metal to be cut and a rod is loaded into the burning torch. When the diver is ready to burn, he pulls the lever on the torch to start the flow of oxygen through the tubular steel rod. He then communicates with Topside through the speakers in his helmet to activate the knife switch and make it hot. It's hot. Divers wear a protective welding lens on their helmets to avoid damage to their eyes from the bright arc. As the rod makes close contact with the metal to be cut, an electrical arc occurs. Oxygen flows through the rod and allows the metal to actually burn underwater. The rod is consumed in the process. The electrical arc also causes the water molecules to disassociate into their component molecular parts. Hydrogen and oxygen are released as gas bubbles into the water. When the rod is consumed, which takes a short time, the diver then tells Topside to make it cold or open the switch. It's cold. Once the switch is open, the diver changes rods and starts the process over again. If a diver burns on a closed compartment or any structure that is not vented, Hydrogen and oxygen accumulate inside. Eventually, if enough gas builds up, this may be ignited by a spark from the torch that can cause an explosion that can kill or injure a diver. Commercial diving accidents like this are easily prevented when the diver has the proper training, a job hazard analysis is performed prior to the dive to identify potential issues, and proper procedures are followed.